This is the second video of section 5 on animation. In this video, we explain how we can define an animation clip to make a cube rotate around in a looping mode. We will create a new animation clip and assign it to a game object. We will then refine the actual movement in the clip to better set how the movements will be performed. This is using the widely known keyframe method as used in Adobe Flash or other animation software. You define main animation keys at particular frames and the computer will do the interpolation between these keys. In Unity, we start simply with a single cube game object, positioned at the world origin and without any rotations set. This is rather important as these values will be steered by the animation clip, replacing whatever value is set manually. Please remember this. Create an animations folder in your project app and open it. Now call assets create animation in the menu. And when the new asset is displayed, you can directly type a suitable name. Call it rotation loop to indicate what we want to use it for. Now drag the animation clip we just created onto the cube object in the scene view. Two things will happen. The cube object receives an animator component and a cube controller asset is created. The controller is automatically assigned to the animator component and ensures that the new clip will act on the cube game object. With the cube selected, open the animation tab from the window menu. This opens a new floating panel which you can dock wherever you want. The rotation clip is already visible, ready to start recording animations. Right now, nothing will happen when you press the small play button on the animation tab. We need to add one or more animation curves first. Press add curve and browse to the rotation entry underneath the transform to press the plus icon. Once a curve is added, you can fold out the rotation line and look at the rotation Y parameter. It has two keys already defined, indicated by the small diamond shape on the timeline. The red line is a time indicator. Drag the time indicator to the last key position or use the forward-backward buttons to ensure you are adding the rotation Y value at the right time. Set a new value to 360 to ensure the cube is performing a full rotation over the indicated time frame of 2 seconds. Internally, Uni samples these animations clips at 60 frames per second. Press the small play button to check that the cube is effectively rotating. To fine tune the animation interpolation, you can toggle the curves display mode, which gives a graphical view on how the parameters evolve over the time frame. In this example, we get a linear interpolation between 0 and 360 degrees, which works fine for a continuous looping rotation. We can now play the game and see our cube rotating once in the game window. To make it loop, adjust the animation clip properties in the inspector and activate loop time. Press play to confirm. In this video lesson, we created a new animation clip to make a cube rotation around its y axis. In the next video, we will expand this to have a nice door opening animation with smooth transitions.